Ongumusho, or as we know, Samp and Beans, is a truly South African recipe. And I grew up eating it since I was yay high. And today I'm gonna show everyone how to make it township style. First up, you'll need some beans. Now, very, very important, they need to be washed thoroughly, soaked overnight. I'm gonna water in a pot. I've got my beans in. Next up, my Samp. What's very, very important when you're cooking with beans or Samp is never ever add salt, because we'll make it grainy and not so tasty. So while that's going for one and a half hours, pan on high heat, add a small glug of oil. Now remember, whenever you're adding in food into a pan, you want that sizzle. So make sure your pan reaches temperature first before you add in your ingredients. And in go our onions. Oh, look at that beautiful sound. I'm gonna add in my spices and curry powder. Now the curry powder will give nice flavor, nice color to your onions, and you want to slowly saute them. Next up will be chicken spice. Samp and beans by themselves don't really have flavor, so the push I'm doing here is adding in flavor to make my whole meal. My onions have soaked up all my oil, so I'm gonna add a small wood glug. Every now and again, keep checking your samp and beans. Now it's time for a pinch of salt and a crack of black pepper. It smells like a party in this pan. <laughs> My beans have finished cooking, they've absorbed all the liquid. Now it's time for me to combine my onions with my beans. Oh, that smells absolutely divine. And it looks good too. Mix it all up. I think mom will be proud. It's Dambu, Samprint Beans, Ungu mm Musha, -hmm. I'm the king. Oh, my Samprint Beans is ready. It looks and smells amazing. I'm gonna go join my friends outside the bra. But before I go, check out the recipe, subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. <laughs> Who's ready for Sam and Beans? Yeah, it's, oh, it's a it's pleasure. Amazing. Looks good. Cheers, cheers guys. Cool. Cheers. Chim, chim. That's how you share Sam and Beans.